my gosh, look at that. My house looks so naked without the corn up there. Anyway, good morning guys. We are making the day happen. It is going to be a warm one today. It is going to be 33 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost 100. In other words, if you guys follow like Bat Dad at all, and if you've seen the little kid, there's it's so funny. The little kid says, it's hot as balls and just the way he says it. it obviously it's scripted but it's so oh god it is hot um it, it's so funny so it is that's how hot it is right now okay let's uh, get out of here let's get to our first appointment of the day so that we can get to our second appointment of the day so that we can finish up with the vehicle and 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 come home and then hopefully work on the fence again that's the goal didn't happen yesterday well kind of did we got the materials we needed so there was still a little bit of progress but not as much progress as i would like to see and getting that thing done. So let's make the day happen. I know the glare on this is something horrible, but here's a view of the uh, new sidewalk and the new road. Now, if you'll notice, this first layer of asphalt, which you can't see it now, but the first layer of asphalt does not match the height of the sidewalk. So that is also not their final layer either. So I guess I guess when you build the road, you put two layers of asphalt on there. Anyway, it's, it's nice to see the progress and I just can't wait until they get everything here completely done so that I can do my, my video of before and after side by side. I think that'll be pretty interesting. All right, well, first appointment of the day is done. So I decided why not come and walk the hill now while I have the time so that uh, later I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and look at the school. I don't see any more uh, construction trucks over there. So it looks like well, the roof is almost done. There's still some, they've got some tiles and stuff up on it still, but it looks like the parking lot over there is done, and I don't see them working on a playground. It's an elementary school. It needs a playground. Kids need a place to go out and get rid of energy and be kids. Why is there no playground? I mean, they've got like this little teeny tiny thing like out here. Let me zoom in. I shall zoom in for you because that's what I do. They have this little teeny tiny section right here. That's kind of boring though. There's only like two items. They've got a wall there and they kept the basketball court. But all the toys are gone. Huh. It's kind of sad. Oh, don't laugh at me. I don't have any sunscreen on right now. It's my third time up the hill and it's like, you know something? I need to protect myself because I can feel that sun beating on me. And I don't like to be beat on. Yeah, see, much better. I hope nobody drives by because this seems really ridiculous. Leave it to a Washingtonian to have an umbrella in the summertime and when it's raining. Okay, done with that. And now I know why. I don't walk this hill in the daytime. But at least this time I have water. Although lukewarm, it's still water. It's uh, late afternoon, it's starting to, it's about to start cooling down. It hasn't yet, but it will be here very shortly. And I was thinking to myself, well, I don't have to wait until the end of the night when I'm so tired and then I go to edit and it's like, oh, I don't wanna do COC tonight because I'm so tired and I sound like a little whiny baby. So why don't I just do COC now? Yes, there will be more vlog after COC, so you have to watch it, or you might skip ahead with the skip button. I don't know. Either way, um, we are going to go, and we are going to do COC for the last three nights. Let's start with uh, last night's vlog. Um, it's warm. Capstone 2, you said your first. Nicole Flynn, second comment, and six thumbs up. It's going to be really hot in here in Reno, Nevada. Also, make sure to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated and use sunscreen. Happy haunting. Happy haunting to you. And yes, I did. And I have been keeping hydrated. Very important. Mon E, hot in Canada also. Yes, it is. It's about... Th it's our weather here in the Pacific Northwest of Washington State is about the same as it is in BC right now. And you say, thank God for air conditioners. I know, I don't have one in here. Um, I moved it to the bedroom since I'm not sleeping in here anymore. <sighs> but anyway, okay, I digress. I'm trying to get through this quickly. JR, you say hi. Hi. Uh, LJ Mike 1204 someone left the front door to hell open. I'm melting. It's 36 degrees out here. Even my dark cave is hot. You know, I consider this right here my dark cave. I like to keep the whole, actually, my whole house is a dark cave because I like to keep it as closed off to the outside as possible. I don't want any solar heating inside. 
and you know caves are dark and caves are usually cool I'm sorry that yours is not and now we travel back in time to harvest time this is the day that I harvested all the corn and apparently two people didn't like it because they're like nah, I don't like your harvesting corn JR you were first that's pretty awesome and you say that you enjoyed the vlogs for over a year. Thanks, Troy and Angie. You're absolutely welcome. That's pretty cool. Nicole Flynn, hi, Troy and Angie. Your first corn haul turned out pretty good. Sorry I had to take all that down so you won't have your privacy anymore. Yeah, I'm going I, I'm going to get the rest of the corn out of there eventually over the next week and then um, let the bug situation kind of calm down and then I'll look into getting uh, bamboo and putting bamboo in there. Patrick R. McConnell. Hi, Troy and Angie. Great vlog as always, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Congrats on your corn haul, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah, Phoenix and I and Angie are all going to enjoy this corn, because it is kind of like all of our thing, kind of. Uh, and you say, can't wait for you and Angie to be together again. Hmm, that's interesting. We can't either. <laughs> And Ontario Man 100, we pay 27 cents here for sweet corn in Canada, and this batch was from the USA. Oh, that's funny. Uh, what's really funny is this corn, if I were to, oh my gosh, the power when it was cold outside, um, all the fertilizer and the water and the electricity for the grow lights during the winter, because I started that corn in January, so, oh my gosh, it was very expensive. Definitely more than 27 cents is probably 27 cents per kernel. <laughs> And, uh, and you, you are also the final comment of the night. Uh, that does look like nuclear corn. I know, it's kind of weird. Going even further back in time to almost done. This is the uh, vlog that Angie was here for. And um, what am I going to do with this one? I'm not going to read all the comments. Angie went and answered a lot of your guys' comments. So thank her um, for doing that. Um, Capazone 2, you were first to get on that one. Nicole Flynn, hi Trent. Angie, oh, you're in trouble, mystery. You're supposed to kiss Angie when she yawns, not bop her on the head. She's the only one that can do that to you when you yawn. Uh, but she responded to you and said that, I totally deserve it, I get it all the time. Hmm, maybe he just yawns more than I do. That's the first time he's done it back. Hunter's Playground, you sure are getting handsy with those female plants. There are none. They're all males. So I'm getting handsy with them. Wait a second, I see what you just did there. Shade's tiny corner of the interwebs, uh, the fence is looking great. Airplane Guy 28, will there be a haunt this year? Um, no, there will not be a haunt this year, and there's no way. Uh, we've got 98 days right now until Halloween, and uh, although we're going to go out and we're going to do as many haunty things as we can, um, the, the haunt this year is not going to materialize. We're not even doing a party haunt, uh, just because there are much more important fish to fry this year, so we are going to fry some fish, I guess, a fish fry. Jason McDougall, you asked, what are your guys' favorite bands? Um, you know, I, I don't really have one anymore. Bands, musical group, artist, um, I don't. I like so many different genres of music that I, I can't point, put my finger down on just one. Um, it's kind of like asking somebody, what's your favorite haunt? Because there's different kinds of haunts. It's kind of, I don't want to say a loaded question, but it's a question that's difficult to answer because I like different haunts for different reasons, just like I different I like different artists for different reasons. So, yeah. Okay, I know. That totally skirted around it, and I'm sorry. And I, I think Angie's the same way, but uh, maybe she'll comment down below about that. And Triff27, I swear over half the time when Troy's trying to do a lower voice for the dogs, it sounds like the creepy prison guard Alice from Super Jail Shudder. I'm not familiar with that, but I imagine it's pretty creepy. And the final comment of the vlog from three days ago, Branson Haunted Hills, you say last. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, it's not. Oh, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Well, that was weird. I almost said happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. All right, let's go outside. Let's paint in the fence. Buffy's out here wondering what the heck's going on now. Well, I have laid plastic down. Um, I don't want to get any of the paint on the sidewalk. And we're going to shoot the uh, gate, um, the bottom side first. Kind of try to seal some of this up right here. Um, since it's going to be a movable part, I want to make sure that we take care of sealing it. Um, what else? Um, I'm not worried about this stuff over here, just like the, the fence over here. I'm not, I wasn't worried about the gravel and the dirt because all the paint will eventually go away. I just don't want to get it on the concrete over here. So we're going to shoot this stuff and this face first. That gate, we'll turn it over, shoot to the other side, turn it around, shoot the back side, and then we'll move the plastic and then go over there and shoot that. And then, um, and then whatever else happens, happens. I figured that I'll kind of like just do this as it happens. Whatever needs to be done. 
not too much planning involved. All right, so the shed part has been sprayed on both sides. Um, this fence here has began to get painted here and on the inside there. And I've also, come here, let me see it. Leave it, leave it, drop it, leave it. Leave it, good girl, go get it. Like, wait a second, I just had it. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and then I also uh, have sprayed the gate too, just like I said I was going to. So now I'm gonna flip it over, spray it again, and then continue doing this other stuff. Oh my God, it is hot. Hot as balls. Look, look at that. See it? Look at that. I'm dripping sweat, literally. I'm out of paint. <laughs> so I have this side and this side left to do, along with both sides of the gate and the L right there on the other side. But other than that, other than that, it's done. Except for the roof. But that was the main thing, is I wanted, I wanted to paint before I got the roof up there. So now I can go and put the roof up there, hopefully still tonight. Um, oh, that looks so, so awesome. It looks like a new freaking fence. That's purely outstanding. So we're gonna get a few more rocks put in here too. I got some overspray right here. Ah, dang it. But, eh, okay, well, we'll figure it out and uh, get a few more rocks in there, beautify it. And then this project right here will be done. So we're closer, we're definitely closer. So now I'm gonna transition in taking, I hope she didn't eat paint. Did you eat paint? Let me see you. Come here. Okay, no, you didn't eat paint. That was just me being sloppy. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna get these and transition and put those up there and hopefully get them like screwed down tonight. I'm covered in paint myself. I did not eat any paint though. I stayed away from that stuff. It's bad. Whoa, it's a dragonfly. Hi, Buffy. All right, so sun's going down. The roof is about ready to go up. The roof is on there. Uh, it's not on there on there. It's just laying down. I'm just making sure that everything is straight or as straight as it can be before I use these little things that I got yesterday to uh, tie it down with. There we go. Come on, focus. Fo Buffy, it won't focus. I don't know what you want me to do about it. <laughs> okay. Um, I know, that's a poor voice for her. We need Angie here so that she can do co Coda's. Wow, Buffy's voice. All right guys, there you go. We are screwed and done and down. The woodshed is 100% complete. As long as I don't knock any of that wood and have to go and touch up paint. All right, so here we are. Look at that. Oh, finally. <laughs> oh, things are looking so nice. Now, if we can go and get some like uh, fence lights, like I have around, well, some of them are lit, some aren't lit yet, but around the, uh, the fence posts, I've got these little lights on them. Trying to make this uh, yard look a little better. No, that looks, oh my gosh, that looks so much better. It's a world's difference. Now I just have to get a nice green grass to contrast that, <laughs> or complement it rather. Okay, um, I don't think I'm gonna, I, I need to get other stuff done. I'm not gonna hang the gate tonight, although, it wouldn't really be that difficult to do. No, I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I gotta get to other things. Dinner. Can you say goodnight? Say goodnight. <laughs> or lay down. Uh, there were only two additional comments. Uh, Angie posted, today is hot as Soccer ball, baseball, volleyball, balls. And uh, real fan Jason said, I'm not yawning, I refuse. Good thing that um, I'm not doing COC tonight because, oh wait, we already did it, awesome. All right guys, happy yawning, thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Oh, stay hydrated out there. That's my words of advice, bye.